Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about the CMOS inverter stick diagram. So how to draw the CMOS inverter stick diagram I will explain here. Uh, before going into the stick diagram or layout diagram one should know how to draw the CMOS inverter. That means CMOS realization we should know whatever the circuit it is. Okay, even in any generic formula also we should know how to draw the CMOS circuit diagram. Circuit realization is very must. Without knowing circuit realization, you cannot even start the stick diagram, which is a rough representation of the layout. Once if you are failing to represent a uh, circuit diagram in stick diagram, then you, uh, you cannot even go for the layout diagrams. So, CMOS realization is very much necessary. Now, coming to the CMOS inverter. CMOS inverter. So, inverter is having how many inputs and how many outputs? One input and one output. So, output y is equal to a bar. Output y is equal to a bar. So, a is the input, y is the output. You can write here output equal to a bar with input equal to a. With input equal to a. So, now CMOS inverter is having one input. So, how many uh, transistors, how many PMOS transistors as per the previous uh, video I told you, uh, number of inputs equal to number of PMOS transistors equal to number of NMOS transistors. How many PMOS transistors now? One PMOS transistor. So, one PMOS transistor which is in the pull up place and one NMOS transistor which is in the pull down place. So, take this bubble for representing it as a PMOS transistor and this is NMOS transistor. This is nothing but input. We are saying it as A and this is nothing but Y is equal to A bar. Y is equal to A bar. So, VDD ground and we can write it as a PMOS transistor and we can write it as NMOS transistor. Okay. So, we know already great and uh, uh, different terminals. This is gate, this is source and this one is the drain. Gate, this drain and this is the source. So, drains are short circuited and taken as output. And source terminals are connected to VDD and VSS. Gate terminals are connected to input. Now, how to draw the stick diagram? How to draw the stick diagram? So, draw metal lines first. Draw metal lines. I will write a few points here. Draw metal lines. Metal lines color is blue color. Draw metal lines with blue color for VDD and VSS. If you want to write that also. For VDD and VSS. For VDD and VSS. Next draw the transistors draw the draw the transistors which are nothing but pmos and pmos and nmos pmos and the nmos join the interconnections join the interconnections with metal layer which is in blue color join the interconnections with the metal layer with the blue color join two different wires Two different wires or uh, what is that layers? We can call it as layer also. Join two different wires or layers with contact cut or contacts with contacts which are in black color, which are in the black color. So this is what the circuit diagram realization. And once the circuit is completed and the next step is draw a demarcation line 
draw a demarcation line between P and N mass transistors. Okay. So now let us see based on these points what I have written here. Based on these points, let us draw the output uh, CMOS inverter circuit diagram for the inverters. So first, as I have blue in my hand, I am using the same that is stick diagrams. Stick diagram of the CMOS inverter. Now, draw two metal lines VDD and VSS. So take black color and write here, here as VDDN, VSS. Now, what are the stick diagrams you are writing? First, you are drawing the stick diagram for the mass, C mass, and uh, which is having P mass and as well as N mass. For the P mass, we know. What is the representation of the PMOS transistor? Red over yellow. NMOS transistor, red over green. So take that diffusion colors. So take this yellow color. Okay. So draw a straight line up to certain point up to certain point this is nothing but p plus diffusion p plus diffusion next take green color take green color draw n plus diffusion at the bottom it is n plus diffusion next what else we need? Take red color. Red color is used to create the gate terminal. Okay. So take the red color here and here. And you give the common input for these two with the same polysilicon. Polysilicon can be used to construct the gate terminal and as well as the input. Nothing but A. We can extend the same wire like a metal. But uh, every time extending the polysilicon is not at all good okay so now take this uh, what is that we need a black color take this black color and provide a contact to our this point and provide a contact here okay so take blue color again draw these two and extend the wire draw these two and extend the wire so wherever you are having the two different uh, points two different points what the different layers are connecting there we should give a black color contact there we should give a black color contact okay so it is the input and this is the output y is equal to a bar is equal to a bar so this is what the uh, circuit diagram stick diagram of the cmos inverter in another way also we can draw the same circuit diagram with uh, different uh, or reduced polysilicon so modified another type of another type of cmos inverter another type of the CMOS inverter. So how it is going to be constructed in a different way. See here P plus diffusion which is in yellow color that is vertical and uh, polysilicon which is in the horizontal fashion. Now I am just interchanging these two by taking the polysilicon in the vertical way and uh, P plus and yellow diffusions are in the horizontal way. So <coughs> again draw the metal color lines. Draw the metal lines. VDD and <coughs> VSS. Again, apply VDD and VSS for this using this yellow cross mark, black cross mark, VDD and VSS. 
now draw the circuit diagram in the layout representation <coughs> take yellow color take yellow color draw from here to there next take green color take green color draw and flash diffusion up to this like this <coughs> next deposit polysilicon so that the transistor is going to be designed so you are using a very less polysilicon use less polysilicon actually for uh, in the entire design 14 per, beyond 14 percent polysilicon is not at all no tool is permitted like if you are working with a matter graphics, so you are drawing this polysilicon more than in the pre -layout, post layout simulation it shows the error will be there at the polysilicon. Polysilicon is having a limitation that is 14%. More than that we cannot use. Okay, so now it is NMOS transistor. It is PMOS transistor. Uh, now we have to take black color and provide contacts wherever you are having two different lines. Okay, here on contact and here another contact. Now take metal line, take metal line, draw a line like this. Now see here it is a P plus diffusion, it is N plus diffusion, these two are joined together. These two are joined together. We are joining, we know very well. Uh, before going into that, extend this blue color line. Extend this blue color line like this. Okay, I have used a dark blue color line, both are same. Take black color and provide contact over here and here. So, this is the input A and this is output Y equal to A bar. Okay, it is PMOS transistor and this one is the NMOS transistor. Again, PMOS and NMOS realizations are separated by using a demarcation line which is a demarcation line which is used to separate the PMOS and as well as NMOS realizations. Okay, this is what the different types of circuit realizations of the CMOS inverter. Either you can design like this by keeping the polysilicon vertically and remaining things N plus and P plus diffusions uh, different uh, shape. But whereas in the basic block diagram of this basic circuit stick diagram for this NMOS inverter is can also be written like this can also be drawn like this. Uh, if you see this the polysilicon uh, is connected in the vertical fashion whereas in the polysilicon is a series fashion I'm oh, sorry it means vertical line but here the polysilicon is in the horizontal way p plus diffusion in the vertical way and n plus diffusion is also in the vertical way that means it is having some orientation change okay this is the way how to draw the stick diagram of the cmos inverter generally professionals will be drawing this uh, stick diagram like this okay so this is the professional representation professional representations okay professional representation is nothing but keeping the polysilicon vertically that to only limited version okay below four point beyond this four point uh, um, Okay, that means suppose if you are working with any metal graphics tool, then this uh, tool uh, polysilicon has to be uh, laid down very limited version below beyond this 14 percent you cannot use. If you are using it simply shows an DRC error, design rule checking error. Okay, this is the way how to draw the CMOS inverter circuit diagram, stick diagram.